If you've been paying attention to my channel lately, you've probably seen that we're building a Chemical 14 brick and mortar establishment, kind of a home for all the ridiculous and misguided projects we get involved with. Well, being the type of guy who gets weirdly fixated on dumb ideas, I thought it would be cool to have a concierge, but she's an Android and she uses the API for ChatGPT to talk to customers about art, and neighborhood bars and the impending demise of humanity. Oh, and she's going to be coin operated too. Imagine Zoltar, that mechanized fortune teller from the movie Big, but if it was built by the kids from Weird Science and some nonsensical 80s montage of a boyhood fantasy. That's kind of what I'm going for. So first I'm just going to do a quick mock-up with the hardware involved just to kind of get a sense of how everything's going to come together. This is a little coin acceptor I bought on Amazon. It runs on a 12 volt power supply and it basically just acts like a relay that sends a pulse whenever someone drops a quarter in. I'm going to connect that to one of the pins on my Raspberry Pi and then I'm going to use an arcade button connected to a second pin on the Raspberry Pi. Other than that, there's just a keyboard and a monitor and a little USB speaker to plug in. Okay, I think I've got the basic mock-up of the hardware for our sideboard concierge working now. I'm still workshopping this user interface, but it'll be something like this. And you can see I've got zero questions, but now if I add my 25 cents, now I've got three questions. What type of body would you like to have? I would like a body that is strong, fast, and agile. Oh, good answer. Is it okay if we cut a hole in your chest to mount a display? No, it is not okay to cut a hole in my chest to mount a display. For the electronics case on the back, I used an old housing from a power supply that went bad. But for the display monitor on her chest, I need to make something a little bit more custom. So I'm just laser cutting some parts to make a little wooden box. Um, I'll probably 3D print a bezel later to hold the screen in, but I haven't really figured that out yet. I'm just kind of winging it. Since Phoebe is made of fiberglass, I thought I'd use Bondo glass to attach her various parts. I don't really know what I'm doing with this stuff though, so I kind of made a big mess. Didn't really matter though, in the end it just meant a lot of extra sanding. Okay, at this point I think I should back up and talk a little bit about how I created the user interface for this project. And first of all, I want to point out that I am not a coder. I am actually not very good at coding at all other than just understanding the basic concepts of it. And prior to this project, I had never coded anything in Python. Python is the programming language that's commonly used for Raspberry Pi projects. Thankfully, this is actually what ChatGPT is really good at. So I went in and just asked it outright, how would I do this project? I explained the basic parameters of what I was trying to do, told it I was using a Raspberry Pi, and it jumped right into explaining to me how to set up my Raspberry Pi, including how to install the appropriate operating system, how to go to the OpenAI API and register and get an API key. So then I just asked it to write me a script that would include a graphical user interface or a GUI, if you will that would allow the user to type in a question and it would send that question to the ChatGPT API, get a response, and then return that to the user. 
Not only did it write the code, but it did a really good job of explaining it to me and adding notations so that I would understand what each part of the code meant. So then I went a little deeper and I explained the coin operated nature of this user interface and that I would need a script that would wait for a signal from my coin acceptor and then trigger a function that would give the user three questions. After that, it was just a lot more back and forth where I would ask it how to do something like uh, add a sound effect when a coin dropped. And it would give me a script and then I would try to integrate it into my code. If I had problems, I'd just go back and ask more questions. And over time, I was able to build the entire program that I was trying to create. When I post this video, I'll include a link in the description to a folder with my script and all of the supporting files in case you want to play with them, minus my API key and the personality file for Phoebe. If you're a coder, just keep in mind that this was my first Python project and I had to figure a lot out by trial and error, so it might be, you know, bad. Come on. There's a the trash can right here. This head we're using doesn't really go with this mannequin. It's, it's actually a training dummy from a hair salon, but it's about the right size, so I think we can make it work. After I cut this hole in the face for the speakers, I was planning to make kind of a little metal shield to cover the mouth, uh, something like what Shredder had from Ninja Turtles. After that, Rob made her a collar out of some black EBS. Uh, in retrospect, I should have left some more of her neck intact because this was a real pain to get pop riveted on. I'm letting Rob take everything off of that breadboard that we did and solder it onto a prototype hat. I'm letting him do it because he's a little bit better at this than me. Which is not to say he's good at it. He's just better I'm bad at, at it. But I'm worse.
Simon Concierge working at Chemical 40, an art and decor store in New Orleans. I was built and programmed by the store's founders, Ellen and Rob. I have a female body made from an old mannequin that Ellen found. Is there anything specific you would like to know? Chemical 14 is an art and decor store located at 4315 Royal St. in New Orleans, Louisiana. It was founded by artists Alan Cruzert and Rob Hoover. The store showcases and sells a wide variety of art and decor pieces created by local artists. Alan and Rob are also the creative minds behind the building itself and many of the unique artworks and installations found within. Chemical 14 aims to support and promote the local art community while offering visitors a unique and immersive experience. Additionally, Alan and Rob maintain a YouTube channel called Chemical 14, where they share built videos and other creative content. There are a few options for getting a beer here by Chemical 14. One popular option is Parlo Beer Lab, which is a brewery and beer garden located nearby at 634 Les Epsent. They offer a variety of locally brewed beers in a relaxed outdoor setting. Another option is Fawn's Lounge, a bar located at 4229 Dolphinsent, which often features live music and serves a selection of beer.